Hi, my name is Chris Shasi, and I'm going to go over an MDM migration tool that we created for migrating from one MDM server over to Jamf Pro. You're likely aware of the many challenges when migrating from one MDM server over to Jamf Pro, especially when it comes to the user experience on the Macs. Whether the computer is in DEP or not, whether the MDM profile currently on the computer is removable or not, and whether it's on Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, Monterey, or Ventura, our MDM migration tool takes all of these variables into account to create one easy to follow workflow for your users. I'm gonna show you what this tool looks like if a computer is not in DEP versus what it looks like if the computer is in DEP. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like if the computer does not even have an MDM profile on it to migrate from. Let's start off with the non-DEP workflow. First, a window is going to pop up, telling the users what to expect and allowing them to click continue when they're ready. Then a video is going to pop up, giving them more information on what they'll need to complete during this process. There's really only two steps, they need to click continue, and then they'll need to click install once the window pops up for the profile. Then the window pops up asking them to click continue. Once they click continue and download the profile, the workflow is going to recognize that that happened and then close their Safari window. And once the old MDM profile is removed, it launches system preferences and allows them to install the new profile. Once our tool has recognized that the new MDM profile has been installed, it's going to close system preferences and then bring the user through the rest of the migration steps. In this example, we need to reissue the file vault recovery key because it was file vault encrypted before being enrolled in Jamf. This ensures that the file vault recovery key is being stored within Jamf. Next, the tool will install Jamf Connect and then prompt the user to log in to Jamf Connect and wait until they complete that step. Once the user has logged into Jamf Connect and synced their password with their identity provider, it will then let the user know that the process is complete. Next, let's go over what this workflow looks like if the computer is in DEP. Like before, a window is going to pop up asking the users to continue when they're ready. Once they click continue, it's going to pop up a video showing them what to expect from this workflow. And then another dialog is going to pop up in the upper right corner, and it's going to wait for them to interact with it. Once they click on that dialog, it's going to remove the previous MDM profile and then bring them through the process of enrolling the computer through DEP. Now the workflow is going to wait until they complete this process. And then once they do, it's going to move on with the rest of the MDM migration steps that we saw before, like reissuing the file vault recovery key and logging in to Jamf Connect. Last, I'm going to show what happens when you have this workflow set up and a user manually enrolls in Jamf without being migrated from a previous server. The user clicks continue, but instead of being brought through the rest of the MDM migration steps, skips to reissuing the file vault recovery key and logging in to Jamf Connect.